let me tell you about this mindset that is a non-negotiable and is insanely, insanely important to have in your relationship. Um, so I, in, in referring to this, I'm referring more to romantic relationships, but it does apply kind of everywhere. Okay. But I'm going to refer to it in, in romantic relationships right now. So whether you have a romantic relationship that you want to improve or that you just want to keep having be amazing, um, or you are trying to manifest a relationship to you, um, this is really, really important that you know this and you take this to heart and you use this concept. And I hope that you don't click off the video right away when I tell you where this comes from, because it comes from the Karma Sutra teachings. And I'm not going to talk to you about sexy time tonight. That's that's not all of the Karma Sutra, okay? <laughs> but this is, that's part of this concept of how you treat each other, okay? So in your relationship, um, you want to feel as if you are the queen and that you are being treated like a queen all the time. Like the person you're with should be so grateful and um, amazed and, and in awe of the queen that you are. And they should treat you that way. And you should consider and hold yourself to that. Now, I'm going to tell you how you're supposed to treat them in a second. But before I do, whether or not you feel like a queen, Maybe you feel like I do right now where I don't have makeup on and I feel like kind of a ragamuffin and I flew into the video and would fly out. Maybe you don't feel super queen-like, <laughs> okay? That's okay, all right? And, and here's why. You just need to hold that energy and hold that space of feeling like a queen. So in other words, fake it till you make it, baby, okay? So you are the queen and you are the queen of an entire kingdom and you are, you're just the head woman of all of it, okay? That's the energy that you want to hold. Now, the way that you want to treat your man, and for, for David, you're just going to reverse this, buddy, when you when you watch this video. Same for you, but you're just turning it around, okay? If you're, it, when you're treating your man, you are going to treat them as if they are the king. Okay, so they are the king of this place and that you feel honored and lucky and excited and privileged to be with this king. But you are also the queen who needs to feel as if the king is giving you that energy back. Okay, this is not something I made up or because I like royalty stuff. <laughs> okay, this is true Karma Sutra teachings. And again, I'm not talking about sexy time. I could if you wanted me to. Same stuff applies there if, if you want to really go there. But I'm talking about the way that you hold space and you hold energy and the way that you treat each other. You have to be in the king and queen mindset. Now, I get asked this question. What if it's two queens in a relationship? What if it's two kings in a relationship? That's fine. You imagine that you, there are two queens in this kingdom and that you're one of them and you're with the other one. And you imagine that there are two kings to the kingdom and you're with one and you're with the other one. Now, I, I'm not, I don't think that any of that piece applies to any of you guys or I would further explain how, how you go about that. But if, so if somebody wants me to, please let me know. So I'll focus more on the queen king aspect of it. Okay. So if you are imagining that you are someone who's with a king, you need to treat your man not just as if he's some royal guy, okay? But you need to treat him as if he is the, the masculine energy of the figure of a king, okay? So I don't want you picturing some, some, some king on a TV show or, or in a movie, really. I want you to think more of the energy. Think in line with spirituality and, and where the place where Karma Sutra comes from, okay? The, those Indian old school beliefs, right? Uh, of the energy of what a king figure would be, okay? So very much owning masculinity, owning femininity at the same time, but masculinity is the one that stepped more forward and femininity is respected in, in the man, but brought a step back. 
Okay. And the king is comfortable in his masculinity. He's a masculine figure, but he's also comfortable in his sensitive side. If you think of a, a great king, you're going to think of a man who, who rules and is strong, but is also sensitive and caring about his people, right? This king should want to treat his queen like a queen, right? So then when you're, you're getting energy back, you want to make sure that you're walking around and acting and expecting behavior as if this king is just in awe and so lucky to have this queen in their life, okay? So you want to be treated that way. Now, again, you might feel like, oh, my God, I'm going to feel like such a goober, if I walk around thinking I'm the queen around around my man or, or try to manifest a relationship and imagining that, okay? Do you? Probably, okay? Try it. It's not like you're walking around like some princess or queen in a Disney movie. That's not what I'm asking. I'm asking you to hold the space and the energy of what a feminine queen is. A feminine queen is a very strong female figure who is, is intuitive and in tune with what people need, but is a leader. Okay. And, and so that's who you want to be. And that's what you want loved and honored and respected in yourself. So when you have two figures that are both heads of the household, both king, both leaders of the kingdom, all right, then you're sharing these duties and your partners truly in life. There's no one who's more or less powerful than the other. There, you both share the same amount of power, but specialize in different things to serve your kingdom. Okay, so I want you to try that. I want you to play around with that. I want you to experiment with that a little. I want you to see how that goes. Have a conversation if you are with, if you are already with your king. I want you to have a conversation with them about this. Think of it as funny. Think of it as, you know, playing around or, or whatever and, and try it out and, and see how that goes. It's it's a very cool thing. Look up the concept. Again, look up the Karma Sutra stuff. I am not referring to sexy time. I am always open to talking about that, but I don't want to make anyone uncomfortable. <laughs> That's not really what I'm referring to. Karma Sutra isn't just that. It's about trading energy and how you hold and treat people. So Look that concept up and see what I'm talking about here, about that equal exchange of energy. If you in your if your relationship is just you celebrating a king and trying to manage a king, that's not so equal because there isn't that return back of the queen energy and, and the give to that. So you need to build that in and, and to express that and find that. Okay. It might sound silly. It might sound cuckoo. It might sound make-believe. You might feel silly kind of imagining that and thinking about doing that, but it's worth trying. It really, really is. Okay. Megan Sullivan says so much Heather today. I, love I know when I came on the video, I was like, are you guys in just insanely sick of seeing me? Um, I don't know. Maybe you are, but here I am showing up to, to try to help teach you this. So this is the mindset that I want you to, to focus on. If you have questions or comments or arguments, or you want to tell me you feel uncomfortable with it, well, any of that stuff, ask. I am someone who can is very much comfortable answering any questions. So whatever you have, throw that at me. Um, but I want you to really hold on to this, and I want you to think about this concept. Now, let's slightly adjust that to your relationships if you are trying to manifest one. Okay, so let's say, same concept applies, but let's say you are trying to manifest um, somebody into your life that can, if you're the queen, that can be the king, or if you're the king, that can be your queen. You want to be manifesting in a relationship that has that energy already. So you want to be picturing that already. Okay. So you want to be treating them in that way, but you have to be getting it back because a true king would want to treat his woman as a queen. Right. So that's it's not as if you're 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 going crazy here. That really is representative of that. Think about uh, like the king and queen figures in tarot. OK. And think about what they represent. It's not about, you know, walking around with like a, a cape and a crown. And well, I don't know what are those stick things called that they have and sitting in the throne. That's really not what that energy is about, right? Queen energy isn't about walking around and snapping your fingers and ordering people around and acting like a spoiled brat. If you look in the tarot, it's a very, very different meaning. It's a powerful feminine figure who's comfortable with her intuition and who 
uses it and uses her leadership to serve people and, and uses her intuition to do that. Okay. So you want to be pulling that in already when you're, you're focusing on um, how to manifest. You want to have that be at the forefront. Now, let's say you apply the same, the same attitude and the same technique to a friendship. OK, um, and it, it's with with one of your best friends. You should be treating them as if they are a, a queen of a kingdom over there and you're a queen of a kingdom over here. And you both meet up and you're both queen friends and you both have a lot on your plate and you both serve your kingdoms in the way that you do. But that you have an equal amount of respect for each other. All right. If you are treating somebody as if they're lesser. And is if they're not the queen, but you are, and they're just part of your, you know, your kingdom, that that's not going to work, that energy of that, because it's going to feel very off. And, and this is perfect to be talking about during Boundary Challenge Week, right? Because that those boundaries aren't going to work, because if someone feels like someone, you know, you're the queen and they're lesser um, in a friendship, they're going to always be not feeling like an equal to you. They're going to always feel like they're trying to please you or serve you. And, and I don't know if you've ever had a friend like that, but that's awkward. It feels more like a, a fan than a friend. And that's not what you're looking for. Okay. Let's say the opposite. Like you're friends with a very powerful woman and she acts like a queen, but doesn't treat you that way. Like you're a queen that runs this kingdom. That's not going to work either. And I think that this concept is so in, insanely important when it comes to, to us women. Um, to make sure that we're all treating each other and respecting each other that way because so many women want to tear each other down in search of their own power. But the true the true secret to, to being powerful is to surround yourself with other powerful women, truly powerful, not power hungry, not trying to have power over everyone else, but empowered themselves. That's who you want to surround yourself with because then you'll be lifted up to that yourself. Does that make sense? Are you feeling me on that? I hope that you are. So I want you to think of the king and queen mindset or the queen mindset, um, whatever you want to refer to it as, or the king and king concept or whatever, whatever it is. Okay. Even if it's, if it's a brother or you're one of your parents or whatever, imagine that they are either the king or queen of an entire kingdom and you're meeting up and, and you're serving and you're, and you're talking to them like that and hold that space and energy for them. I promise you, you will get an interesting reaction from them, a good one. People like that. People like being treated like that, okay? You're not in competition because you already have your own kingdom that you're already the leader of. So you don't need to be in competition with the queen over there who's the leader of that 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 one because go her and go you at the same time. It's not one or the other. It's not a war or a battle for the same kingdom. Makes sense? I hope it does. Okay. So I want you to focus on that. I want you to apply that. I want you to tell me what it feels like to try that. I want you to 